Hi, I'm Yao. I'm one of the developers of Open Data Kit, or ODK. ODK is a set of open source tools to help organizations collect, aggregate, and visualize their data. We've just released an update to ODK Collect, our mobile client, and I wanted to show you some of the really cool new features. So let's get started. We'll launch ODK Collect, and immediately you see that we've changed the UI a little bit. For example, if you try to enter new data and there are no forms, it won't let you. So we'll hit Manage Files to get started. We'll hit the Remote tab. And what this would do is that it will go out to our server ODK aggregate and get a list of files that are available for download. You can run any server, any open ROSA compliant server. In this case, uh, we run ODK aggregate, but you can definitely run your own. We'll give it a few moments and you can see that we have three forms available. If I go to server preferences here, you can also see that um, the URL for the server is, is available. I'm going to select these three forms and add them. When the forms are finished downloading, I can then come to enter new data and I see three forms. Let's try the widgets form because that's our demo form. Uh, we just slide our finger across the bottom of the screen to go from question to question. In this case, we have a string question, so we pop up the keyboard and you can uh, enter that data. We still have input constraints, so if a number is uh, needs to be in a particular range, it will make sure that um, it will check those constraints before you go to the next question. We can also do decimals and dates multiple selects and uh, you can select one uh, as well. We do complex logic still so if you hit yes you get a different set of questions than if you say hit no. Um, we still support multiple languages within a form so you can change languages to whatever you want. You can either translate multiple questions or just one question. I'm going to go back here to English. We can do acknowledgments and complex validation here, if I type, you know, Bob at AOL, that's not a valid email address, so it'll say no. But if I add the .com, it lets me then uh, continue. We can capture a location. The GPS is actually pretty accurate. Uh, in the emulator, we have to fake it, but um, there it is, our location. We can also do barcode scanning, 1 and 2D barcodes, if you have the barcode scanner installed. It's a free application. We can capture images. The emulator image is not as big as the regular camera uh, image, so if you try this on an actual phone, the image will be much bigger. Let's go ahead and view that image. There it is. We can go back and go on to next questions. So we can do audio and video questions as well. We can also do this review widget, which shows you previously entered data. Uh, we still have groups. So groups are a way for you to add multiple instances of something to a form. So you can imagine multiple children um, in a household. We can do groups inside of groups. So here we have group RB that's inside group RA. We can add a second RB group that you can see there. We can then say no and we're back to group RA. We can add another one of those and we still have two group RAs. Um, we don't want our RB group to group RA. When we're done or if we change our mind we can also delete uh, the repeated instances. So I'm going to delete group RA number two. I'm say no and then uh, we can save the form as incomplete. Uh, we can now edit save data so you can see your complete and your incomplete forms. In this case, we have an incomplete form. We'll load the widgets uh, form and wait a few seconds for it to come up. And what it will do is populate the form with the data that you just saved. Um, we also have a different view on this data. Um, here you can see all your questions at once and make changes. So if I wanted to change the select one, I could change it to option two. I can then save this as complete. And what complete means is that I can then uh, send it at any time. Let's try another form, the geotagger form, which is really the basic thing that the most basic thing that you can do. Um, you can capture an image of something, we'll do that. Uh, you can capture a location, which we'll do next. Um, and then you can capture some text. And this is really the most basic application because it enables a lot of stuff. You can do uh, citizen science, you can do documentation of, uh, of deforestation, logging, or any number of things. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as complete. When I'm done, I can send and complete the data. I can send all of it, or in this case, I'll just send uh, the geotagger form that I just filled out. I'm going to hit send, and then it takes a little while. It can go to any open ROSA compliant server. In this case, it goes to ODK aggregate, which is where we got the forms from, which is our open source server. Uh, when I'm done, I can go back, and now I can actually uh, hit review save data, and then I can see that I still have the widgets data there still. Uh, if I go to manage files, I can both delete forms that I've just submitted, like the GeoTagger one, or delete the widgets one if I'm done with it. I don't want to keep it around anymore. So I'm going to delete those files, and then it's done. I can go back, and now I'm back in the main menu 
and I can go back again, and that's it. You can find out more about Open Data Kit at code.google.com slash p slash open dash data dash kit. Thanks.